Hello learners! We are now in quarter 3, week 5 of your science lesson with the title, It Currently Flows. Basically, you will be learning about a simple electrical circuit, its parts and types. In our most essential learning competency, we will determine the effects of changing the number or types of components in a circuit. So, let's start. Desktop, tablet, Cell phone. Name any gadget that you have at home and they have one thing in common. They are powered by electricity. For any electrical devices to work, it must follow a path called electrical circuit. Electrical circuit is a path where current electricity flows. It is what you see in the illustration. If the pathway of electricity is connected, the bulb will light up. A simple electrical circuit is composed of the following parts. Switch, which opens and closes the circuit. Load, which converts electrical energy into other forms. In our illustration, the load is bulb. So electrical energy is converted to light energy. We have wire, which connects other components. It is also the pathway for electrons. We also have the source of electricity, which supplies power to the circuit. Battery is the most common example in a simple electrical circuit. Now, this is the illustration for open and closed circuit. Closed circuit allows the current to flow to make the load perform its function. While open circuit, does not allow the current to flow, so the load will not perform its function. The switch helps open and close the circuit. Let us study more on open and closed circuit. So this illustration shows a closed circuit. In a closed circuit, it allows electrical devices to work continuously. Each parts are connected to each other. The load converts electrical energy into another type of energy. And, the light turns on because the path of electricity is complete. Electricity flows from the positive to the negative terminal of the dry cell. In an open circuit, the light bulb did not turn on because the parts are incomplete. The switch is open. And, there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. The series and the parallel circuit. These are the two types of electrical circuit. Series circuit is a kind of circuit in which electric current flows in a single path. When one bulb is loosened or busted, all the other bulbs will not light anymore. Christmas lights are a good example of a series circuit. Notice that if you remove one bulb, the other bulbs will not light up because the path of electricity is broken. Notice also how the flow of electricity is arranged for each light bulb. Next, the parallel circuit, on the other hand, is a kind of circuit in which there are two or more independent paths. When one bulb is loosened, taken, or burned out, the other bulb will still light up. A break in the pathway does not make all the lights go out because electricity can still flow through the other pathways. Most connections in our houses are in parallel circuit. It runs like that of the illustration. The remote is just like a switch that controls the flow of current for every devices at home. It is for easier use because it allows the flow of electricity to select the devices that you would want to use. Now, since we are talking about electrical circuit, here are some of safety tips at home. Don't overload your outlets. 
replace or repair damaged power cords. Keep electrical equipment or outlets away from water. And protect small children from hazards. So, that's it. Now, let's have our activity time. The title of the first activity is Name Me. You just have to identify the picture presented. Game. For the next activity, it is entitled, Know Me. You just have to know if it identifies a series or parallel circuit. That's it for today. Thank you, class.